And uh, today, we're gonna, since we're getting close to Valentine's Day, today we're going to be talking about a beautiful dessert that is um, just in time for Valentine's for you to share with your sweetheart. And this dessert is, got, is called uh, decadent chocolate, and uh, it's, it just has a few ingredients in it, and all of the ingredients are natural. We all know Valentine's Day is a holiday of heart, love, and pleasure and sharing. So this dessert is going to be uh, meant for you to share with your sweetheart. You could see the ingredients that we have here are just, you know, very natural. For example, you know, coconut, uh, cacao, which is a fresh cacao, cacao from the tree, not chocolate that we know it. Cacao is, when we talk about it, cacao is really the most uh, mentioned food when we talk about love. And, uh, but cacao in its natural form, cacao that actually grows on trees, and cacao, how Aztecs and Mayans used it, it's, it has an enormous amount of antioxidants in it, it has um, an enormous amount of magnesium in it, which is actually good for your heart. It's great for your clarity and focus of your mind, and since it has so much magnesium, it's great for your circulation. Another thing here that we're going to be using is uh, coconut. Coconut has, uh, <laughs> coconut has a lot of great uh, nutrients in it as well. For example, coconut oil. Coconut oil is great for your skin, for your uh, hair, for your, uh, to take it in your shakes because it also adds circulation to your, uh, to, add, add circulation to you and also uh, it makes your skin look nice and radiant. Another great thing, uh, for example, these coconuts that we're going to be using, those are Thai coconuts, and they're sweeter than normal coconuts. And we're going to be using a uh, liquid from them, and and uh, coconut meat. So the the liquid is actually the closest uh, to our uh, plasma, to our blood plasma, and it's very very rich of magnesium and potassium as well. And uh, the meat is uh, also it has um, a lot of great uh, unsaturated fats in them, which is really great for us. Too. Another ingredient that we're going to be using is avocado. Avocado um, is another aphrodisiac. Right now what we're going to do, we're going to combine those beautiful ingredients to make our chocolate mousse. That's going to be the top of the dessert and then we're going to go to the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine half of avocado, which is going to add a beautiful um, texture to our, to our uh, dessert. Nice and um, nice and creamy. Then we're going to have a cup of, this is a mixture of um, uh, coconut meat and coconut water. So we're going to add to that as well. Uh, then here we have about half a cup of cacao powder. This is a natural and organic cacao powder. So we're going to add that to this. Um, as a sweetener, today I'm using yacon syrup, which is a great natural sweetener. I'm using only a third of a cup. You can use more or less. Uh, it depends on how, you know, how sweet you like that to be. So I'm going to add that to this as well. Another thing that I'm using here is coconut oil. Coconut oil is going to add a beautiful flavor to it and texture, especially when you put it in the refrigerator, it's going to add that hardness to it. Okay, and as a spice, we're using a cinnamon, whose, uh, which aroma is also a great... Um, uh, it's, a, it's a great thing. And then vanilla. Vanilla actually is a great, has a great synergy with chocolate. Uh, in mythology, vanilla and, um, and cacao were actually divine lovers uh, who decided to come back as plants. So they have a great synergy because vanilla has a very feminine energy and cacao has a very masculine energy. So they go very nicely together. And uh, I'm going to add a pinch of um, Himalayan sea salt just for a taste. Maybe a couple of pinches. And cayenne pepper. What cayenne pepper does, it uh, opens up capillaries so you can absorb all of those beautiful nutrients and um, have a nice feel to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend it all together. Okay, that's all it took for the chocolate mousse. Uh, now for the crust, um, what I like to use, I like to use pecans because they have a very good flavor to them and Turkish apricots. So that's for the sweetness, and when you blend them two together in a Vitamix, um, they, uh, they, the oils from the pecans and the sweetness and the moisture from the apricots actually makes it a very nice texture. So this is, we have a, we have a finished product right here. So that's basically going to be our crust. And uh, in between, I like to put a banana, which is another aphrodisiac due to its shape, and regions of potassium. 
because uh, obviously also adds circulation to us and um, as a result enhances our sexuality. So you can either put it in a blender, I personally just like to uh, make a puree out of it with a fork. So it's creamy but yet it still has a little texture to it and it kind of separates um, the chocolate and our beautiful uh, crust that we're going to be using. Okay, so that's basically what it's going to look like. I'm going to use half of a banana for this uh, beautiful glass. What I'm going to do is, I like to serve it in a martini glass because, you know, obviously it's going to be meant for sharing and um, it just has a nice presentation to it. Uh, so what I do is I put a little bit of that crust in a glass and then make it in a cone shape so this way we have room for all of our other ingredients to go in it. And then we add our banana. And um, when we add our banana, I like it to come up a little bit higher so from the outside of the glass you could see the layers. I'll show you finished product after. It's gonna look much better than this. This is our chocolate decadence. And it's so flavorful and it smells divine as well. And I also like to decorate it with um, rose petals. Add another romantic flavor to your Valentine's Day. So this is what it looks like. I hope you enjoy. Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy it with your um, significant other. And until next time, see you later.